In this week's image breakdown, we're going to take a look at an image that I created for an anti-marine pollution campaign. This image came about when environmental campaigner and marine biologist Richard Lord approached me to see if I'd be happy to work on a charity project to create an image that demonstrated the problem of marine pollution in our oceans. Now, as an avid diver and ocean user, I was very happy to help and was pleased to be given creative freedom to come up with the ideas for the image. Now, for any campaign image like this, it needs to be extremely strong and grab people's attention. Amongst the rubbish that Richard and the volunteers had collected from the shoreline were, tragically, hypodermic needles and syringes. I decided that this could bring the shock factor to my image, especially if I were going to combine it with a baby that represented the sad legacy that we're leaving future generations. Creating an image that can hold a viewer with this much content in it is a difficult task, and it had to be carefully considered. Most of my work and style is more structural and simplistic compositions as I tend to lean towards clarity rather than quantity in my images. So for this image, I had to work hard to ensure that the message was still clear and that the viewer wasn't distracted or overwhelmed by its content. I tried to achieve this through careful use of lighting, color, and the arrangement of the components in my image. So let me talk you through the image and how I shot it. First of all, you may notice that the color scheme of the image is somewhat held back and that the hues are well balanced to ensure that the viewer isn't overwhelmed. I wanted an almost grand old masters or renaissance painting style color to the image and this was done by carefully selecting items and arranging them based on specific shape or colors and through careful post-production tweaking and adjusting hues and saturation. Secondly, the image was lit to ensure that the baby remained the main focus for the viewer. If you notice this area here, I selected mostly clear plastic bottles to form a path towards the baby. And although the image was shot in my studio, I had to make it look like it was some sort of apocalyptic outdoor scene. So I used one of my previous sky and seascape images as the choice for the background. And I knew I had to match my lighting to simulate those breaks in the cloud. To do this, I used multiple beams of very focused lights rather than a general broad or soft lighting, which wouldn't have been appropriate or had the necessary drama required. All of the beams of light had to come from above left to match the background sky. And by using modifiers such as Fresnels, spots, tight grids and focus paras, I was able to create key pockets of light and sinister shadows where I needed them. But throughout all of the lights, the baby had to remain the point of focus and was the subject of the key light, which was a para 88. I also used elements of slightly higher contrast here, here and here to frame the subject and keep the viewer locked into the shot. And I also opted for a sort of loose level of symmetry with those rounder items in those positions, again, to keep you locked in that area of the shot. And here is the path of sort of clear plastic bottles that lead you up towards our main subject. I also placed an additional syringe that the volunteers had found subtly in the foreground so that on large scale reproductions of the image, it would be another interesting feature. Now, of course, there was no way we could allow the baby to come to harm. So the needle on this syringe was added in post and the syringe that the baby was holding was sterilized first. Also, the baby's mother was stood very close by, just off to the side of the shot over here. And we left a clear path through the rubbish that's hidden behind that layer of rubbish so she could get to her baby as necessary. 
We also deliberately selected a baby that could only sit and wasn't yet old enough to crawl. That was for obvious reasons so that the baby didn't start rummaging around within the rubbish itself. I was very pleased that the image was used by several leading environmental charities and scientific organisations, and it is still freely available from us for any other environmental charities to use too. Now, as intended, because of the content, the shot provoked a huge reaction and public debate, with over a million views of the accompanying video on the BBC News Facebook page. The image of the baby holding the hypodermic needle created the shock factor that ensured people paid attention, which is a difficult thing to do when we are bombarded with so many messages every day. But it was absolutely necessary for us to do it in this image to get the message through. And another version of the image was accompanied with words. Those were, the future is plastic, it's in our blood. This was partly a recognition that we could be poisoning future generations with microplastics in the food chain. It also, to partly correlate with the hypodermic needle in the photo, and partly a play on the type of language used by investors and capitalists in our consumer-driven society. Well, I hope you enjoyed this image breakdown, and thanks very much for watching.